So in the book, I, I feature um, what I call everyday herbs, herbs that most anybody can take on a daily basis. And I have some favorites that I'll share that I think are good for anybody and everybody to take because they have such nice properties. One of my favorite is rhodiola. Um, this herb is native to Siberia and northern latitudes, but interestingly, they found this species in some of the higher elevations of the Appalachian Mountains. Um, it is defined as an adaptogen. It reduces fatigue. It, it helps us. In, it increases our tolerance to physical stress, protects heart cells, protects nerve cells, improves tissue oxygenation. So really nice herb. Rishi mushroom, another favorite. This is a shelf mushroom. It kind of looks like a rainbow that would be growing on the side of a tree. Uh, it's, it's rust colored. There are many species. If you've ever been walking in the woods and see, seeing kind of a rust colored rainbow uh, mushroom growing on the side of the tree, that's a species of Rishi. Now, the, the one that has been most extensively studied is the Asian Rishi, and it has some wonderful anti-cancer properties, but also immune modulating, antiviral properties, um, increases stress resistance, um, really wonderful effects. Turmeric, most everybody has heard from that one. It is what you find in Indian curries. Most everyone has experienced this. Um, it's a relative of ginger. Um, so it's a rhizome, which is something like a root. Anti-inflammatory properties, well known. So it's protecting cells and reducing inflammation in the body by affecting chemical messengers that are associated with that inflammatory response. Uh, really a wonderful herb. Uh, native to India, um, Indian curries. You know, most people in India would consume about a gram of curry every day. And despite uh, overcrowding and a higher level of pollution than we have here, um, India has some of the lowest rates of Alzheimer's and, and cancer in the world, and it's felt to be related to high consumption of turmeric and other herbs. Protecting your liver. All the toxins we're exposed to kill off liver cells. When we kill off liver cells, we lose the ability to detoxify. Our cholesterol goes up, our blood sugar goes up because our liver cells need to manage those things. And if you lose your liver cells, that's not good. Milk thistle protects your liver cells, but it's actually been found to, re, you know, to induce regeneration of new liver cells. So that's important. You can actually restore your liver cells. It's a matter of taking the stress off and your body does remarkable things. Go to cola. This is another one from India, um, well known for supporting brain health and protecting brain cells but it protects all the cells in the body, including skin cells and vascular system and everything else. Shilajit is an interesting substance that is, I added this one on just because it, it's really fascinating. Um, this is found in the Himalayas. And what it is, is photochemicals from decomposed plants that have been fermented with bacteria. And in the process, that has created new chemicals called fulvic acid and humic acid that are really, really good for uh, uh, restoring uh, our, our intestinal health. So it does a lot of great things. It's considered an adaptogen, really a wonderful herb.